guys, this is Dborn here with netcodeguys.com. Today we're going to be doing a demo review for Banry. And this first round, it's good you had a plan to smoke off spawn, but you overcommitted to it. And as you saw, like when you ran down middle, you just had your smoke out the entire way here. And had this guy, you know, this area here peaked middle, he just had like a, even if he didn't kill you, he'd have done like a decent amount of damage to you. He would have had like, you know, three or four bullets with no response from you because you just had your smoke out just like on a one way line to this box. And as you can see, there's still a minute 20 left in this entire round after all that's played out. So if you can just take your time a bit more, be a little cautious before you commit to a smoke like that, you'll be a lot better off. I noticed you op on the third round, which on this round makes you use no armor. But with how common it is to buy on CT side second round now with the CZ scouts and 5.7s, etc., you need to be buying. Even if, like, and also the, I wanted to note the P250 that you shoot right there is like extremely fast. I would take your time and tap it a little bit more. But like I said, first of all, the, the op on the third round really isn't that beneficial for you. Just because like you can get swarmed by pistolers who they don't have any rolls so they just kind of sprint around. Um, but also the main thing is for this round here, it makes you have no armor and a pistol as well. Which is really dangerous for your team because you can't really con contribute to the round unless one of your teammates dies and you pick up their weapon. You seem to be fond of walking through smokes and if that's something you like to do a lot and not just like you know in this matchmaker right here but I would try to take different routes because as you can see when you end up going through the smoke at long A you're like in kind of a, what I would call a no man's land like where you're kind of exposed to a lot of different angles as opposed to if you're walking along that left wall over here you can clear pit from that way when you're right here, you're kind of just like hovering, waiting for someone to shoot at you so you can react to them. As opposed to, you know, kind of walking this way, making sure you're kind of sheltered from this guy peeking here. And you can clear pit from here before, you know, crouching out this way and clearing this area here. So it's more of like an order of operations when you come out long. Especially if you're walking through a smoke because obviously, you know, they can see you way before you can see them. So just try to be a little more safe about it. It's again, a really common thing for, you know, someone to do. Rush B on piss around as T. And you made yourself really, really vulnerable to this. So, if you, like, it looked like you wanted to push tunnels, which if, if that's what you wanted to do, the better thing would have been to kind of hold for a second either door or window and help your guy, you know, sight area to hear if they're rushing or not. And, like, you know, get into a safe spot where you can get, like, a kill or do some damage and fall off. Because when you just peek this tunnel here, you're just getting tagged by, like, three people as they're rushing in. And, you know, you have to get really fortunate, you know, to get out of that alive. So just try to be a little bit more aware of what you're doing and just try to be more under control and like take your time with things. Lastly, this is going to be another example of not being under control. You rotate, you have two people on the site right now. You have a teammate outside of B, but you're completely ignoring middle. And although you miss your smoke here, it's a good idea to throw the smoke when you're retaking. But at this point, you have, teammate, you have two teammates alive in the site and you have no one near you middle. This guy was in CT spawn at that point. So it seems like you don't use your radar enough, and if you could just glance at it every now and then, you can see what you're vulnerable to, what's being watched, what you need, what you need to watch. You know, bombs on the radar, uh, enemies are on the radar, etc. So there's just a lot of information to be had if you could just glance at it every now and then. And then, like I was, like I was saying, you kind of rush this smoke here. Like it's it's a good smoke for the retake, but it's not something that needs to be thrown immediately. Like it's something you can throw a little later, and you can kind of focus on keeping your gun out, and you know, kind of fending off anyone from middle. Because obviously, this is a really common spot to flank on dust too. This has been Dborn with NetCodeGuys.com, and I hope you learned something.